It's Bonnie Heffy Sunday. I am back. Oh my gosh, we got to talk about the Goose Creek Tuscan Vineyard candle. Oh my goodness. Goose Creek sent me this candle to review. And all I have to say is, wow. <laughs> you know me and grape candles, so it's no surprise that I love this one. Look at how beautiful the jar is. I gotta say, these are gorgeous. So, um, grape soda yeah goose creek had a candle called grape soda i noticed they just have it in the hand soap now i think it's in the melt uh the candle's not on right now they need to bring grape soda back that one is fabulous when i was a kid i've told this story before i loved grape soda i still love grape soda i once in a while treat myself to it but there is something so wonderful about grapes and sugar concord grapes and sugar it's not jammy it's grape soda. Tuscan Vineyard is the sophisticated version of grape soda. I love grape soda, though. <laughs> this one is grapes, dewy leaves, and berries. And actually, this one is a little bit of a slow starter for me because I've not tried this candle before. When I first lit it up, I got a little bit more of the dewy leaves. And I'm like, I don't know if I like this one because I'm used to the grape sugar one so much. I'm like, yes, grape sugar. Um, so I wasn't sure I liked this one as much. But then after about a half hour, I think the grapes just caught up and the berries. And now I'm like, oh, yeah, this thing is just really performing so well. And I'm getting that mix of um, the dewy leaves and the grapes now. But this is definitely, like I said, a more sophisticated um, grape scent because um, it, it's 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 like the grown up version. <laughs> of grape soda. But I think I'm a kid because I like grape soda so much. Um, but this one, let me uh, let me do the uh, full scent notes here. It's dark, juicy grapes, dark berry blend, true wine, green vines, and dewy leaves. I'm not a wine drinker, so I don't really know the nuances of um, grapes and wine. I'm just going on, do I like it? Do I not like it? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It just took me a while to get going on this one because I think, like I said, the green vines and the dewy leaves uh, were the prominent scent notes uh, when I first started burning it. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Um, but now I'm getting like that beautiful, sweet uh, bouquet of grapes. But I kind of get the dark, juicy grapes and the dark berry because it does have like a richer note than um, the grape soda. So if you like more like Concord grape sugar, go with the grape soda. If you like um, a more sophisticated, um, dark, very grape, uh, I would go with the Tuscan Vineyard. Um, or you can get both of them because they're both fabulous. Uh, they, they are, I love, <laughs> they're really, really good. Both the grapes are like, I would say they're like equal. They're equal grapes. So I'm gonna put Tuscan Vineyard in the kitchen because you know I had the skunk problem a little while ago and I'm hoping that the grape is going to overpower the skunk stench <laughs> because um, it smells so good. So perfect throw. The, 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 this candle is like throwing all over the place. Uh, wonderful grape smell. I also want to put up a screenshot because Goose Creek has got a couple of new candles rolling in. They have got sweet pea and vanilla, lavender twilight, honeysuckle and green apple, and farm stand melon. I'm most excited about Lavender Twilight. You know me, farm stand uh, melon is definitely a no for me. I don't like the melon. I don't know what it is about me. There's a definite no on the melon, but Lavender Twilight looks amazing. Anyway, thank you so much to Goose Creek for sending me these candles to review. Definitely check out the Tuscan Vineyard. It is worth it. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.